this is real life and in real life we all are dealing with real shit <laughs> welcome to my youtube channel conversations or is it convos with kelly real open honest conversations with me kelly welcome welcome everybody i know i only have well let's not say only I appreciate all 49 subscribers. I appreciate all 500 views. I appreciate everybody for liking and sharing and commenting and thumbs upping and thumbs downing. I appreciate all of it and I appreciate all of you. And I wanna start there. But this is real life and welcome to my channel. And we're gonna get right into it because my energy is so heavy. My emotions are so in tune right now and I have a message to give to everybody that's watching. I wanna apologize for in advance for my sound. I don't have my mic piece. So my sound might sound muffled or you might hear ringing. It might not be as clear. My apologies. I wanna start there. I am so emotional like I'm so my spirit is like I don't even know what it is I don't my heart it's not my spirit it's my heart is so heavy right now so my heart is so heavy with emotions that I need to share out listen I was gonna make lunch I haven't eaten lunch yet it's 2 30 I was gonna straighten my hair I was gonna throw a little eyeliner on I was like you know I'm gonna be cute today because I, I but then I had to think to myself I'm not here to be cute I'm not here to have the best back, the best background. I'm not here to have the best sound. I'm not here to have the prettiest outfit or the best house or the prettiest makeup. Like I'm that's not what I'm here for. I am truly here to give tips on being becoming an entrepreneur. I mean, advice. I'm I'm here to relay messages i am here to just motivate you all and uplift you all and like i said i appreciate all 49 of my subscribers i am all for gift giving i am all for giveaways i am all for whining i'm all for helping my community no matter what skin color you are what your hair look like i am here because i truly feel like my purpose is to not only serve but give back um to educate to just be everything like I, that is truly my purpose and right now my purpose is to give you a message and this message is so powerful like it's it's really like draining me like I have to give it to you and I did not have this planned out like my my uh my my episode today was gonna be about like um side hustles or something like that and I'm just like I had to get home like I'm washing clothes and I'm just like I have to get home because I have so much to to share and for like forget all this like this is not what it's about when when I see these youtubers and I see them they're all dolled up and everything is perfect from something sitting right here to the bet to everything is perfect like let me tell you something what life is about is taking that leap of faith okay forget what you see forget what you thought it was Stay in your lane, okay? I know, but listen, everything that glitters ain't gold, period. It might seem like one way, but it's really the other way, okay? This is my real life. This is my real life bedroom, background. These, this is my bed. This is my artwork. I don't even, God got it for free. I don't even know what this means. I heard it means love and peace, but correct me if I'm wrong. I have no clue. But this is real life. And in real life, I'm a real life entrepreneur that's really trying to maintain and make it. And I, I like by no means, like I will not work for anybody else, period. I will freaking start a lawn uh, landscaping company. I will freaking deliver groceries, but I will not. And I repeat, I will not ever work for anybody else, period. I have been at call centers, collection agencies, working at retail, working in restaurants, Nuh-uh. I tried it all and that is not for me. So what I'm here to tell you is you, you dig deep. You dig deep in your heart, your soul, your ass, wherever you need to dig and you pull it out of you. And you become that entrepreneur that you've been going back and forth. Like, you know what? Like, ooh, I'm going to just stay here because I know I'll get a paycheck every two weeks. Especially if you only got one mouth to feed. 
do it. You got this. Like, you got this. It ain't nothing like making it and maintaining and having your own because guess what? This hard work and determination and all this, like, blood, sweat, and tears that I'm putting in right now, it's only building the foundation in this billion dollar business that I will have to pass on to my daughter and to pass on to her kids and her kids kids because that is success to me this is my own personal feeling opinions so you can take what you want I'm not saying you take it all you ain't gotta take you could take this much from it but this is what I'm trying to give to you all you can be whatever the fuck you want to be okay whatever i don't care if you want to be a clown and start your own goddamn clown business and go to people's houses and blow up balloons and be a damn clown and honk your old fucking nose you can do that that is why i'm I, like i really have to tell you that you can do it i don't care how many views you got i don't care how many followers you got i don't care how much money you got you can do it period there is so many different avenues that you can go down to do whatever it is that you want to do don't let nobody discourage you listen i'm gonna be a doctor you think you know how many people look at me crazy you're gonna do what so i don't tell anybody i'm not telling you i'm about to be a doctor like i'm not talking about it like i'm telling y'all obviously but i'm saying i'm not gonna sit around and have a conversation about like i want to guess what i'm about to be a doctor all this other i'm not telling nobody nothing i, I want to be a farmer i'm not telling nobody nothing you know why? Because people will find any reason to doubt you. People will laugh at you. People will, and you don't need any of that in your brain, in your thoughts, in your energy, period. Keep it to yourself, but understand that you can do it. That is it. Let's, let's switch this a little bit. Happiness. Why aren't you happy? Ask yourself that. Huh? I remember this. I remember being in my bed asking myself one night what is wrong with me that was, it was really that simple like i'm gonna hold myself together who what is wrong with me why am i so fucking bitter why am i so upset why am i so angry why am i so entitled why am i so disrespectful why am i so like what is wrong with me and you know what it was? It was everything that I just said. I was bitter. I was angry. I was upset. Why me? Why this? Shoulda, coulda, woulda. All those things in my head going through constantly racing. And I'm just like, I cannot take this. Like this is, this could not be life. This is the one life I get, one chance I got. And I was a one in a trillion to be here. And I'm sitting here in my misery. Fuck that. What I said was that night, that night I said, this is the last time that I will sit in my misery and I will sit here and play the victim because it is unfortunate that things have to happen to us. It is unfortunate that I had to be molested. It was unfortunate that I had to grow up in poverty. It was unfortunate that, you know, my mom was a single teenage mom. It's all this is unfortunate. It sucks. But that is not me. That doesn't have to define how my life will what i'll become out of life and what my what i'm destined to be that is just a part of my story in my my life but that is not who i am like you know it's a piece of me but not all of me so i had to really just accept it and realize like you know it happens it just is what it is i can't change it can't take it back you know fuck it <laughs> move past it you know allow it to be forgiven not forget don't forget but forgive it forgive the situation forgive the person and allow it just to push you and and to and to build you and to make you stronger and move past it and that's what i told myself like today is the day i will not sit have pity self-pity i will not sit here in my own misery i will not continue to be a bitter black woman i will not continue to be negative I will not continue to always find the bad in somebody, in something. I will continue. I will, I will not, I will start loving myself and stop hurting myself. Because hurting myself was, 
giving my energy and myself to men not always sexually but some people just don't even deserve your presence but yet i'm still entertaining them because i just want to fill a void i was not going to continue to do that so what i'm telling you is it ain't nothing but up here okay so when you feel those negative thoughts man you feel them like and I ain't nobody's doctor yet. And I ain't no, nobody's psychiatrist, psychologist, life. I am a life coach, therapist, life therapist. I ain't none of that, okay? I am just somebody that experienced real life shit and has to really figure out how to be a better woman, mother, person, human being, everything. Sister, daughter, I had to figure it out. I had to break these damn um, generational curses of hating their mom and being a bitter black woman and not having self-love and not teaching self-love and self-value and self-assurance not even knowing what the fuck that was I was not doing that I was like this is not ever going to be me again so yeah y'all can continue to hold on to that Kelly that you knew at 19 20 21 22 you can continue to act like you know who she is at 30, but you don't know. You don't have a damn clue who I am now. So when you come into my presence and you feel the difference and you see the difference and you hear the difference, respect it. Don't sit here because what I don't like is a pet peeve of mine. It was when people want, listen, this is a thing too about happiness. This is a thing about happiness. You're not going to always be happy every fucking day, every hour. And that's what I hate about people. You get on here on YouTube and you're like, how to be happy first happiness is this and you will be happy every day no the fuck you're gonna have days because life happens like why would i sit here and act like life don't happen like i have a whole business i have freaking two businesses actually three but third one whatever i have a whole non-profit organization that hit the floor because of covid i've been doing I tried a virtual and it's just not the same. I tried to run, I tried to throw an event and it, it was during the pandemic. I have a whole loan signing business. I have businesses. So you don't think that I have moments where I'm like, God damn, this is a lot. And you don't think I have moments where like I just had a video, you know, made $840 in two, in two days. Yeah, it's all great and dandy, but I got to wait for that money. So in between time, I still got to grind. And that's just life in general. It don't stop when you're an entrepreneur. It don't stop when you're a mother. It don't stop when you, you know, got so many things going on. I told you I'm about to be a doctor. I'm about to be a farmer. I got all these things that I'm speaking into existence. I'm about to be a homeowner. I got a lot of shit that I'm about to be and doing and working on and working towards. You don't think I'd be fucking upset sometimes? Yes, I do. But let me tell you what this, let me tell you how to control this. Because I give myself a moment. I don't give myself days, weeks, years. I give myself a moment. And I don't know how long that moment is, but I give myself a moment. And I'm like, you know what? This is some bullshit. This is absolutely some fucking bullshit and i just cannot believe this dumbass shit i might throw a few punches in the air i might scream i might yell cry break down take a shower and lay on the damn a shower fucking um bathtub in the bathtub i don't i'm dramatic as fuck i might do all of that and and it might take me a whole goddamn hour but you know what after that i pick myself up and i start telling myself what it is that you why are you here what are you appreciative about? And I start from fucking one. I woke up. Thank you. You know what? I woke up. And those, and when I'm saying this out loud or I'm saying it to myself, it humbles you. Like, it's all about being humble. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. I am thankful for life. God knows I used to hate outside i don't like the nature bug Ugh. but i am thankful to be able to smell those flowers and those trees and i'm thankful to be able to see and touch and hug and see my child I i'm thankful to be able to be here to help her with those goals that she might have i don't care if it's coloring a full picture of a pumpkin i'm happy to be here and i humble the hell out of myself when i'm in those moments because that is what that brings me back to reality and i realize that it ain't even that deep kelly what are you talking 
it sucks it does but it's like it ain't even that deep and i say that and i say that in the most humble way because there is somebody that's fighting for their life and here i am mad about some money or a bill or somebody that disrespected me it ain't even that deep i say that all the time it ain't even that deep so my advice for you because i know it's everybody has their own journey and i know that my problems might seem small to you and yours might seem small to me whatever i'm not here to judge you i'm not here to to, to diagnose you i'm just here to tell you that this message is for you it's okay it is okay to have your moment but i want you to be able to start getting past that moment and not allowing that moment to become weeks months years and you look up and you are four years into a depression like i was let's start understanding that happiness is taught you can really unlearn all these freaking terrible things that we learned you can unlearn them like i don't speak to people that way i don't have to carry myself that way i don't have to be a product of my environment I don't have to be that at all. I could be bitter. I could be angry. I could be, oh, I didn't have my dad. Oh, yeah, my mom was a single, it was a um, teenage mom. I wasn't a teenage mom. I knew I was not going to be a teenage mom. F that, uh-uh. I'm a single mom, and it sucks, but I don't have to be that. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to walk around here. I'm a single mom. F everybody that ain't a single. No. Like, this is sometimes what I do. I'm just thinking, this is how I, I kind of envision, you know, when I'm going into those little negative feelings and those negative uh, moments i'm like literally like pulling myself in like no nope you're alive your child is healthy you're healthy i'm literally pull come on bring yourself on, on back into reality kelly it ain't even that deep it ain't even that deep it's not even that deep so i'm telling you it's not even that deep it's not so while we're on this journey together because I have so many more journeys I want to share. Um, and I don't care if I continue to, to maintain 49 subscribers or 100 subscribers. I know that I'm making a difference. And I know that somebody hears me. And I know what, I, what I'm doing, it feels right. You know what I'm saying? I've tried this many a times, but it feels right. So I have so many journeys that I want to share. Um, I am going to continue my weight loss journey. Um, it's very hard for me. I have a very slow metabolism. I, I barely eat. You know, when I do eat, I'm very mindful of what I eat. Um, but it's very hard for me to lose weight. But I want to. I want to share that journey with you. Um, and I'm so. I'm. I'm such an honest person that it could be uncomfortable. But I hope you're ready for to be uncomfortable because I don't mind it. I don't. I don't mind being uncomfortable at all. Um, but I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here for whoever needs me. Because I'm about to, you know, I'm all, I told y'all this was heavy on my heart. Like, I really had to share this. But I, I just, you know, I wanted to share this. I wanted this to be an episode. I wanted this to be a message that my subscribers see, a video that they see, and a message that they hear. And um, it's important sometimes to just be real vulnerable with people and to be real to re to really be honest because sometimes you know that that um that filter that makeup those those back like all that could just really just make you feel like it's bullshit you know what i'm saying like this is i'm sitting on my floor i'm sitting on my floor at home and thankfully i'm home alone because i feel like i get the most work done when i'm alone and especially when it's like a healing moment or a moment like this like where you're vulnerable um because i didn't want to be interrupted so i appreciate this moment right now but i'm at home and my house is not a mess i'm not a messy person but this is truly my home so i wanted y'all to know you know just welcome to my journey this shit is gonna be a hot mess <laughs> it's gonna be a hot mess but you know welcome and that message was from the bottom of my heart and i needed to give that to you and you take what you want from it and um i will be back i will be back sometime this week and then i'll have my sister on 
and we'll be having some great conversations um and the next four chapters because these are chapters um will be so helpful <sighs> how we feel because i i feel like i just let let like i, I released a lot and I hope that was helpful for you because it was helpful for me. And I'm about to go eat a vegan grilled cheese. Don't that sound good? All right. Enjoy y'all Sunday. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. Stay safe. We got this.